Hello and Servus. This is Claudia speaking and I'm very excited today because this is not only my first video ever but also my very first appearance on the Stencil Girl blog as a regular design team member and I'm very happy and proud to be able to share with you the lovely cuffs that I've made and I just wanted to talk a bit about the stencils that I've used and about the medium that I used to turn acrylic paints into fabric paints and then maybe a bit about the details that I've added because I don't think you can see them on the pictures too well but let's start out with the stencils that I've used I want to show you uh, I've used Andrew Borlo's Cityscape stencil and I really love this one then I have used um, a kit from the Stencil Club kits. Uh, this one was designed for Mar by Marybeth Shaw for the October kit 2016 and this one's really good for mark making and uh, yeah I love this one and this was the one I started out with on the cuffs to have a first layer to work on. Uh, then I've used a small stencil from another stencil club kit. Uh, this one was designed by Carolyn Duby for the June 2016 kit. Uh, she has also designed this lovely stencil. Uh, th this one is called Wall of Words. I've used it on the blue cuff with uh, drops. Um, then, very important, Seth Aptus Numbers stencil. I love this one because it has so many different designs on it, so you can use them in a load of different projects without ever having the feel that you're repeating yourself, which is what I love a, a lot. And last but not least, I've also added a bit of barbed wire. And this one was designed by Mary Beth Shaw as well. Uh, the fabric painting medium that I have used uh, is from Deco Art and Americana and it helps turn uh, acrylic paints into paint that sticks to fabric and uh, don't doesn't wash out when you put it in the washing machine. It has a label on the back that says uh, how you have to mix it to make it work and it says you should heat set it with an iron but what I found, because I'm not much of an ironing girl, to be honest, what I found is that it also works uh, when using the heat tool. Uh, you only have to pay attention to heat each area at least for half a minute and then move on to the next and to the next. That does the job pretty well too and you don't have to get out an iron um, which would also not work really well because I've added some beads as you can see and buttons and I'm not sure if the iron would really work well on the scraped on gesso that I've also mixed with the fabric painting medium so I prefer using the heat tool um, you can see that I've um, come up with three very different designs even though I worked on this very small space of fabric but I wanted to experiment and find out how many different styles I could do with the stencils and with different colors and designs maybe next time I will simply go ahead and, and layer the stencils more randomly and afterwards find uh, spots for cuffs to cut out um, but this time I just did three very different designs and I hope that you like at least one of them if it's all three I'm very happy of course and thank you for watching I hope to see you soon bye